Hey, that hurt. He is in pain. This winter, we stumbled upon a multi-purpose gym in New Jersey where people were dressing in medieval armor and smashing each other with blunt weapons. We were lured in by the spectacle, but the scene beyond it was also really interesting. When we found out these knights were training for a world championship in Portugal, where they would compete against other nations, we immediately booked our tickets to join them. We are the International Medieval Combat Federation World Championships. Yes, that is a thing. It's essentially a renaissance fair, but at the center, there is actual medieval combat with real weapons and real armor. Men and women fighting, not to the death, just until they fall over. Check out the medieval broadcast booth. The International Medieval Combat Federation consists of hundreds of fighters from 26 countries around the world. Each year, teams gather at a castle somewhere in Europe to engage in melees and one-on-one -on -one competition. The event is steeped in medieval history, which makes the U.S. teams stick out from the crowd a bit, despite their best efforts. So right now in the cage behind us, uh, one of the American longswordmen is actually a captain in the U.S. military. He's about to fight right now. My mom was an English teacher when I grew up, right? She'd bring home books, you know, we'd read books together and it was always like medieval knights and stuff. So I was running around playing with swords since I was a kid. The first time I did melees too, as y'all see later, like everything that I ever experienced in like high school football and fencing, it was just, it was that next level. It was that next adrenaline I guess, phase that you can get to and just, I don't know, you leave feeling so refreshed and just so, I can't believe I did this, like, it's amazing. I'm an officer in the Army. My, my job isn't to be the trigger puller. My job is to think and plan and, and, and lead, really. So to be here and not have to do any of that, it's not stressful. It's my release from training for actual war is to come do fake war. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, cheers, yeah. hey, cheers brother. Yeah. Cheers. Oh, yeah. So what are you waiting for right now? 16 on 16. 16 on 16. It's my favorite event because it's the one that feels the most like a real battle. Yeah. Just the more bodies on the field, the more the actual strategy for you know, numbers tends to factor in, the more chaos you get. It's just great. Yeah. What do you do in real life? In real life, I'm a high school history teacher. Oh, really? Yeah. Do your students know you're here? Yeah. I would imagine There's that'd be amazing. There's a few of them that are going to be watching the, the video feed. That's amazing. Pride of America. So what are you guys going to fight in today? What are, what's your schedule? Today will be the five on fives. Uh, so we uh, face Germany. What is the five on five like? A five versus five, I call it a dog fight because it's not as chaotic or as crowded as a 16 versus a 16 or a 10 versus 10. It's more violent. I think I like it. I like it because there's just more violence in the fives. What's your fighting style? Uh, nerd rage. Nerd rage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. One of the things that happens in a helmet is you're breathing in your own CO2. It's a little sensor in your brain will go off saying I got low oxygen levels. And so your, your body and your brain will start going, hey, you're going to die. Whatever it is you're doing, you need to stop it. And so you start, you'll see guys sometimes lose their shit and they'll run around like clawing at their face, trying to get their helmet off. And they're like running around in circles and they're so uh, irrational. They can't even, they're not even thinking to even pull their own helmet off. But what will awaken you the most is when you get a spark that flies into your helmet and you get the smell of ozone. It just completely fills your, your helmet and it's, it's, it's exciting because you know something real just happened to flash before your eyes. I get a little excited actually when, when that happens. Oh shit! Oh, 
Never have enough therapy. You can never have enough therapy. See, look at my smile. It's, therapy. <laughs> it's a real one. No, you're my glowing God. right now. You know, <laughs> this is glow <laughs> emanating from you. Right behind me with the battle axe is Janiel. She's the gold medalist in the pole arm. She's on her honeymoon, and they just changed their last name to Ironside. So you compete with your husband, yes. right? And this is your honeymoon. This is I'm our honeymoon. Told. Yes. How long has this been planned? We got married in February, and then this has been our honeymoon. I'm home, I'm home. How does it feel watching her fight? Oh, it's annoying. So I want to go out there and I'm like, do this, do this, and I can't, I can't. The reason why we chose it is we met by fighting each other in a tournament. <laughs> so <laughs> he had been fighting for three months, I had been fighting for three years, and it was with my favorite style, which is actually longsword. Um, he made a big mistake, big swing and a miss, I was able to dodge, and I hit him right in the face. <laughs> it's nerve Spain and that's, that's Quebec, the best way to put Spain nerve three right. teams, please report to us. Janiel's been standing there. She's, it's been two on one for like five minutes. How you doing, champ? <laughs> so tiring. <laughs> I'm like, just go down already. United States about to fight their 16 on 16 melee, the second round robin. Actually, this guy had his foot possibly broken yesterday, so Stephen Cumbie is stepping in, his first ever melee. I mean, that was a street fight. It was fucking crazy. Well, it's always good when you nail somebody so hard they smash their face into the rail with their whole body weight. You know oh my good. god. It's just that peaky I can't do much with. It's, 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 it's probably like a micro fracture. Right here. <laughs> you have to believe it. Do you believe it? Yes, sir! Do you believe it? Yes, sir! Believe it, man. So this is the finals of the five on five, England versus USA. The final of the cinco de cinco round. First up, we are Australia. Go like go to the ground. We have just another round. Come on, push it for the hours. about five on fives is that if you make one mistake that's 20 percent of your workforce gone right 
to be the first loser second place yeah but it's still satisfying you can see the sportsmanship out here and that's what makes it special so the usa is getting ready for their 16 versus 16 gold medal match it is by far the most exciting event that you have here it is just an all-out street fight it's insane USA! So the United States style, they have a formation where they pinch at the flanks trying to entice the team to come into the middle. And if anyone's actually dumb enough to venture into the middle, they quickly envelop them to isolate them so that they can knock them down. So the U.S. won the gold. They absolutely dominated. <laughs> How are you feeling? Good. Congrats. Thanks. Congrats. I told you, the 16s, it's chaos. So all the official events are over and they end with a 30 on 30 melee. I think that the Renaissance Fair around the event, all the period garb, it makes you think that this is an activity, but when you watch this, it is absolutely a sport. People are leaving with serious injuries. And when you watch these matches, there's more drama packed in a round of these than you'd be lucky to see in a basketball game or a baseball game. I think that that's the most exciting part of this event. In a minute, you might have more drama than you can get in any other sport.